Greetings, everybody. LVW coming back with another episode of Noob Sauce. All right. Here we are. Back in the world. We got all of our basic tools and everything out of the way. So we've started the game. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start collecting some additional resources so we can get into the more advanced recipes. Okay. Such as our stone tools and everything else. Um, that's a lever. That's a redstone component. All right. So uh, we're going to need some more wood. I, uh, I replanted the street. Now with... Um, Oak saplings. I could technically actually put that sapling here and it will grow. Uh, oak is one of the few trees that does that is not bothered by a block around it. Some of the other trees take issue with it. Oak doesn't. So I could have put this back exactly where that tree started, but I moved over one block just to help it. Uh, now this will take anywhere from you know uh, a minute to 20 minutes to grow up. A light source next to it could help it to grow quicker, but that is not always the case. And I'm getting ready to lose the day again. And we're going to get on tonight, which is going to get us into our combat zone. All right. Um, now, now, last episode, uh, I started combat, and I did something by going here into the water. If I jump into this water, all right, I sink. So I'm only on one block down, so I'm not... Uh, see you too far because remember you're two blocks if I come down to the second block here I sink down to the two blocks and I start I have to hold my breath so see these little air bubbles here that means I'm running out of breath and if I let it go out I could drown so I have to come back up for air now to keep yourself from falling into the water and potentially drowning if you hit the, the spacebar key and jump, which is what you normally do to get up a block. So if I'm here, hit the spacebar key, that's how I jump up. If you continually jump while you're in the water, you keep yourself above water from falling in. Okay. Uh, I now have a sword, so I'm able to fight. And I put a torch up here to help mark out where the... Oh, our first sapling grew. Look at that. We have our first tree grown from a sapling. That, and actually, we have two. These both have grown. So we now have more wood for us to make additional items. Um, there are several tree variants that are around. This, of course, is the oak. You can tell by this light brown texture. Then there's the um, birch. Birch is a white tree, uh, usually marked with the seed, a little black flex that are in it. Uh, that's a, uh, when you craft, it's like a, Oh, I would say kind of a yellowish, whitish uh, tint to the wood. I'll show you that when we collect that. And then you have the acacia tree, which is over in that savanna, which has a very orange look to it. Or gray logs, but when you make it into planks, it's orange. And this is how I knew this part of section here is a desert. See the cactus? Cactus only grows in the, the desert. And look at that creeper. He just formed it. See that? Look at that. Sneaky little guys. You can't hear them approaching you. Which is why you always got to continually look around because they will come up and explode. Ugh. You'll see it. It'll eventually happen to me. It always does. Me and Creepers, we don't like each other. Not that any mobs do. Alright, where are we here? So, um, I'm going to collect this wood. And here comes a zombie. Let's, let's, uh. Let's go over him real quick as he comes there. Now, the zombies are an undead creature, which is what I explained in the last episode. So, they don't like sunlight. They will only come out during the night or in dark areas. If I had lit, lit up my home and I walked away, a zombie could form in here. Uh, they require a light source of level zero or less in order to form. So, that, this has to read seven instead of thirteen. He's almost to us. Now, the thing about zombies are they growl, and they have this thing called the Caw. And that's another mob that's in the background. That, oops. That is a zombie variant right there. All right. We won't get into that yet, but that's another type of zombie. That's a desert zombie. Now, hear that growl? 
there. Okay, he is calling all our zombies that are in the area. And if there's a zombie are close enough to his call effect, like that guy may be out of range at the moment, he will call additional zombies in that big, tall, black guy. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. I'm still dealing with my cold, guys. He's an Enderman. Okay, you do not want to look at him. He is dangerous when you look at him. He won't attack you until you attack him. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a boxing technique. We're going to do an in and out. So basically, I'm going to spoil oh, it's raining. Of course, it would not be Minecraft world without rain. And Endermen do not like water, including rain. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing my sword and hit him. Now, see that little heart that formed? That means he took damage. Okay. And now, he moved back a little bit because of my swing, because I hurt him. And what I'm doing is I'm moving in and out so he can't attack me. Um, I, actually, I could probably just sit here and swing. You can't just swing and constantly swing because you know, we attack him again. See how he backs up. Usually it takes about four attacks with a wooden sword. I'm under a tree, so it's not. So let's kill this guy. Okay, he's not dead yet, so five, six. Okay, that took six times because I probably wasn't hitting them good enough. Those little green balls you saw me collecting, that's the experience I'm getting. Remember I explained the experience bar. Uh, for killing him off. Let's pick up his loot. He gave me some more uh, rotten flesh, two pieces. And my sword did a little bit. He went down. We hit him six times. Okay. Now, if I continually swing my axe like I'm doing right here, the, uh, the amount of damage you do is based upon... Um, there's, there's a little icon you can also, uh, down here. That's where we usually set it. You can also be over here by where this cursor is. The, if you continually swing it, the amount of damage you do is lessened. So what you want to do is wait for that bar that appears down here to fill up so you can do your full swing damage. I'll swing the sword and show you. See that thing appears? When it disappears, that means I have my full strength of swinging. If I continually swing, you see how it's still there and it's trying to fill up? That means I'm lessening the effect of swinging the sword and doing damage to whatever I'm trying to strike. Now, look, that other zombie was not in his call rate. I apologize about the rain. Unfortunately, that is a feature in Minecraft that uh, us YouTubers don't, don't like. It, has, it, it really does ruin the videos, and I apologize. But I can turn it off. I'm not going to. And there's another spider. Two more spiders. That there's a skeleton. Very dangerous, especially in the beginning stages. Uh, they vanished because... The, the game didn't need them to be registered as, as a, a mob. So the game took them out and probably put in some new more mobs somewhere around here. Uh, there are hostile mobs, which are the zombies, the skeletons, the creepers. There are neutral mobs, such as the spiders, and a couple others that, 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 that go in. Endermen are neutral until you either attack them or look at them at their, at their face. If you stare at their face, they'll attack you. They get aggressive. Alright. Uh, and then there are passive mobs. The cow you saw, that's a passive mob. The chicken over there, that's a passive mob. Mobs are, are, are nothing more than monsters or creatures that form in the game. See, now there's a creeper all the way over there. The squid that forms in the water, that's another mob. And... Uh, See, that basically covers the... Uh, ah, here we go. Okay. Let's, uh, ah, see, now look, he called in another guy. See that other guy behind him? He called him, so he's running towards to help his buddy here to attack me. I could just stand here swing. He may back up, he may not. Eventually, he may actually hurt me a lot. I'll let him hurt me. Okay, now see, look, I took a point of damage. I took two hearts of damage for that. And I'm starting to regenerate because I have full saturation of my health. Now, see, he's starting to shake here. That means I'm using up my saturation. I'm using my hunger, and in this case, because I was healing. Now, I'm down a full one and a half uh, on my saturation. So, because I'm down, I'm not going to naturally regenerate. So, if I take any more damage, I won't heal. Alright. 
Oh, we've got two creepers formed there. Three. Three. Look at that. See? See how I'm saying how this game gets dangerous? Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these apples and I'm going to eat the apple. I right click on it while I'm holding it. I eat it. You hear that? Dun, 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 that crunching, that, that noise that you really shouldn't be making at the dinner table. And in the process of doing that, my saturation and my hunger bar went up. Now, the, the amount of saturation you get from an item depends on the item. If you eat a, a cookie, which is in the game, you get less saturation. I ate an apple, I have a little bit more saturation. Which means that, it, that it takes longer for me to become hungry and I start losing my hunger bars. So now that I have full hunger bar again, I will naturally regenerate. And we're getting to the sunrise. So we went... Oh, if you see that pink thing in the desert over there? That's a pink. That's another... Food source. And that green stuff growing over there, that's sugar cane. All right. I think there's a sheep up there. See that white dot right there? Just, above, just below? Yeah, that's a sheep. That's another passive mob. We need their wool. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Alright. Hopefully the rain will go away when the day comes. Now, these guys are not going to disappear. I'm going to go around them. Because I want a little bit more wood, in the, but I want to get some of this additional wood here. So we're going to go, and I'm going through the water, I'm doing the jumping thing so I can move it so I don't drown and die. But we're also going to want to get some seeds. So you see this, this, this little tuft of grass that's growing here? You have a grass block here, which is like this fat, you know, flat grass lawn that you'd normally see. And then you have this, like, one tall, there's also a two tall version of the grass. Which is what you see in the field and some of that. If you hit that, it has a chance of dropping what's called a seed. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a couple of these out to see. Okay, there it goes. See that? It dropped that. That's called a seed. By collecting this, I'm going to grab that egg while I have my chance. Okay. By collecting this, I can now create a farm of what's called a wheat farm. I plant this. And it will grow wheat, which is a food source for my character. So, let's, uh, there's no Good. We got lucky. got two so far. Pick out another one, a couple more of these, see if we get any more to pick it. Three. I heard growling. Okay. So you sit now, it may be daytime, because the sun is up, and it's grayed out. See, you know, I'm coming to the desert here. It doesn't rain in the desert. Okay. See how it's gray out? That that's how you know if you're like in a like savannah doesn't rain doesn't rain in the desert. Yeah, see that see that right back there? See that dark oak? That's another type of tree. We'll go with that. And that's a root forest biome. So we have a hole here. Ooh, maybe maybe Might end right there. I have a hard time not exploring holes. I love to explore holes. Okay, get back to where. Um, this is how you know if you're like in a dry arid area if it's raining. If the, if the sky is grayed out. Uh, but during the day hours, if it's raining, the, the mobs that are normally destroyed by sunlight, they will not be destroyed. Alright, let's grab some weed. Let's grab this birch tree. Okay, see how it's white with the black? You see it's kind of like the inside is a little yellowish? It, you know... Basically, think of it this way. When you're looking at the birch tree, think of a cow. I mean, you know, of course, cows come in many different colors, uh, but the most common, and most people know, is white and black. Or black and white, whatever you want to say. It's really irrelevant. Uh, now, the only problem is, since these leaves are connected to these other two trees, the chances are these leaves will not naturally decay. So we may not get a sapling out of it, but if we punch the leaves, and don't believe anybody that tells you punching leaves lowers the chances of of uh, getting saplings. That doesn't exist anymore. If it actually ever, really ever did, to be honest with you. Uh, okay, we may actually not get a sapling out of here. If we don't, we don't. Not a big deal. There's more. Oops. Oops. That's an oak sapling. That's how you can tell the leaves. See how it's a like a more drab color green or like an olive green, if you will versus this more vibrant or brighter green. 
that's the birch. Ah, good, we just got him. There it is, a birch sapling versus the oak sapling. Let's just take it the rest of these out so maybe we can get rid of another one. Uh huh. Keep an ear out for mobs. We'll hear them probably before you see them. Okay, now, now see how a sapling dropped up on top of this tree? Remember the, that where I used before pillaring with the dirt? So if I stand here and I jump and right click at the same time, I place a block underneath me. So that places me one block higher than the ground. I do it again. I now do what's called pillaring and I can you know, climb up by this technique. And then I can jump up here, and if there was a sapling up here, I could collect it. Get back down, all you do is just punch it, or use your shovel. So you reclaim the block, and then you pill it down. That's called pillaring. You can also use that in combat. If you're if you're surrounded by mobs, hostile mobs, and you're cornered, you can pillar up at least two blocks, because most mobs are, are too tall. Try to stay in the center, because they can punch you off, because they can jump. Um, you can actually go up. What, oops, there. Good. Stop raining. See how the sun is out now? Okay, the sky is no longer grayed over there. You can go up a third block. If they jump, they can't hit you. But then what you can do is swing at the mobs around you. And then they won't. Uh, they won't, you know, get you. That's called, a, we like, the funny term is we like to call it Nuba Veda. It's a Nuba Veda. Okay, so anyway. Uh, so we got the birch, we managed to grab a sapling. Uh, I'm going to convert one of these just to show you what I mean by the color. See this? It, it's like a whitish kind of yellow, more white than anything else, but it's 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 like a whitish yellow. Um, I think vanilla is actually probably the more better, more better, not that it's a good English, but a, a better term for what they're calling the color. Okay. While we're out here, we got our seeds, I covered the water basics. I, I took care of how to survive in the water. This here is called a cactus. If I hit, if I walk into it, it's going to hurt me. It's got spikes. See those little black little things on it? Those are spikes. That hurts. Um, they only grow three tall. I'm actually going to collect this. The reason is, is you can actually make an item called dyes out of this and there's other things. The only thing is, is you can only grow a cactus on sand. So I'm just going to take one or two of these here with me. This way I just have it for later on. Um, you don't have to collect this now. You can collect it later because you know, we're right here. All right. So let's grab this sugar cane over here. And then I'll show you these other passive mobs. So we come over here. I'm going to, you can actually take all these out by simply hitting the bottom one. And I took out all three stalks. See here I have three sugar cane. All right, actually, I'm going to put one back. And what will happen is, since that is planted there, that will continue to grow. Planted sugar cane will only grow, have a total of three stalks. See this hip boxes? Here's the lower, middle, top. That's three. One, two, three. I hit the middle, I to get the two top pieces. I now have four pieces of sugar cane because of these two pieces. You can find naturally formed four stalks, but if you break that, it will never grow again as a four tall stalk. Ah, we have a couple items. Okay. Here we have the sheep. The sheep have wool. I need shears. I can kill him and he'll drop his wool. I'm not going to do that at the second. So try not to kill the animals as, as quickly as possible as I have other food sources. He's white. He's gray. Pink guys are, are, are pigs. We went over the cows already. These guys are instead of black and white. These guys are brown and white. And then that little hoppy little thing, where'd it go? See it? See that little hoppy thing? That's a rabbit. Um, they've gotten a lot smaller as the game progressed. When they first came out, they, they were really big. Let's grab this acacia. This is an acacia tree. There are six tree variants. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry, my throat's getting dry. I'm still sick. Winter time, long colds. Oh, sorry, I had to get a drink there for my throat. All right, now, there are six variants of trees. You have the oak, most common. Birch, next most common. And then after that, you have your variants. Okay, you have your spruce wood, you have your jungle wood, and then you have your acacia wood, as well as the dark oak, which is all the way over there. We'll get that eventually. This here is a savanna. This is an air 
uh, and biome. So it doesn't rain here. You can find what's called a village. Hopefully we'll get that on the road and you find one. Desert, you can also do the same thing. Alright. So let's take out this tree here. So we can show you the color of what I was referring to. I will come back and take the rest of this tree out later. See how it's a little bit of orange on the inside? If you look here, it's kind of oranges, more like a like a peachish kind of color. But when you break it down, it really becomes like a vibrant orange color. See that? Okay. That's the acacia. All right, let me get back. We're going to lose the day here shortly. Let me finish up what I want to show you this episode and end it. And then uh, we'll move on to the next episode. I'll probably come around and collect some more of this wood between the oak, birch, this acacia. Uh, I won't collect the dark oak until I show it to you. Um, so uh, I'll probably do it off camera. Uh, just so I can get more materials collected. I, I'm not going to... Oh, that's a clay block. I'll, I'll go over that next episode. Or within the next couple of episodes, I should say. <coughs> Excuse me, man. My throat is really dry. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to plant the sugar cane over here. The thing about sugar cane is it needs to have a water source block next to it. So this block right here and this block here, this is a water source block. I can take the sugar cane and I can plant it here on the sand block. Okay. I can also take it and plant it on this grass block. If this was a straight up dirt block without grass, I could also plant it. It doesn't matter whichever you want to plant on. It doesn't grow faster or less, no matter which block. It does have to have a water source right next to the sugar cane or for it to grow. I'm going to plant all four of these here so that uh, I can start actually growing that um, sugar cane. And I want to plant this wheat and all right so what i'll do here is i'll plant it here what did i collect i collected three seeds okay three seeds so we'll take this and we'll plant i'm going to take the hoe i'm going to right click the grass block you need a water source within four I'll, I'll explain a full farm when we get to the full farm but i'm going to right click it and it's going to till the earth this is called farmland or tilled earth. Notice how it's actually slightly lower than the grass block. See that little lip right there? And when you initially till it, it has this light brown, I gotta keep my eyes open for mobs, uh, has this light brown texture, but when it becomes saturated with water, so it has nutrients in it, it becomes this more darker brown. So I'm gonna till that one, and then I'm gonna take the seeds, and I'm gonna right click on the tilled earth and plant that seed, which gives us our next advancement, a seed placed. Okay, we have uh, plant a seed and watch it grow. So we'll plant the rest of this. I'm actually going to take my last torch here. I'll probably make some more torches the way I showed you how to make the charcoal last episode. I'm going to put it here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry again. So that I'll give this area a little bit of a light source to help things grow during the night cycle. Usually during the night cycle, the growth either stops or slows if you provide a light source of eight or above, that's like having the sun out for the growing uh, cycle. And there's a spider over there I'm going to want to kill. All right, guys, so um, that's essentially, uh, you know what? I'm going to take this cactus and I will plant, okay, I'll put the cactus here. Now, you can't have a block around it. If I put a dirt block right next to that cactus, it'll break. Watch. See that? Well, I apologize about the phone, guys. Okay, so you can't have a block within here. If I have this planted here and I put a block on the corner of it, it's not technically hitting the block. It's only when I place a block next to it where I can hit it next to it, it'll pop it off. We don't want that. So I'm going to actually plant this here so I can get some cactus to start growing. Once again, you just right-click on sand. It has to be sand. And you just place the block down. And that'll naturally go on its own. Okay, uh, give me the birch, and we shall plant you. So that spider's probably going to want to attack me. He hasn't seen me yet. All right, let's take and put a dirt block over here. And we'll put you here temporarily until I have another place. To oh, there he is. Oh, oh, okay, I took some more damage. See, so he does that jumping attack. And he didn't give us any more string. 
it gave us another spider. That's fine. No big deal. No real big deal. Uh, so what I did is I, I plunked down a piece of dirt and I planted the, the sapling uh, on, on there so that it will grow. We can always pull that back up later. Uh, the yoke already took care of and we'll cover all the other basics and stuff like that. Here comes another spider. Remember to do that. Ooh, 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 ooh. I breathed too much. He, he hit me. Come in. Ah, okay, good. Get some more experience. All right, that's that weaving out. Basically, you, you know, move back and forth, back and forth. That's your W S keys. Okay, that's that bob and weave, bob and weave. That's that boxing turn I was referring to. All righty. All right, guys. So we'll catch you next episode. And uh, when we get some more materials collected, we'll cover more of the more farming stuff. i got to go around and start collecting some more of this wood and getting uh, some resources. I can show you more of the basic stuff and get this island kind of lit up so we, <coughs> excuse me, so we can move on with the game. All right, guys? As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Y'all take care now. Bye.